Hey you guys, Oscar here with Gold River Insurance, your trucking insurance brokerage. Uh, today we're gonna go over an easy one, the BOC3. Um, anybody who's getting their MC authority is gonna require the BOC3. So this is a form that gives you a process of service agent throughout the entire country. In short, you're traveling all these states. If somebody wants to sue you in their state and, and serve you, they can't because you live in another state, you're in Texas, they live in Florida. FMCSA basically says, hey, you need a process of service agent on every state that can go ahead and take these legal documents for you. Although it sounds a little bit more complicated, like it might be more expensive, it actually runs about $30, $45 and you only pay it once and you only have to repay it if you go ahead and change your address. Let's go ahead and get started, the BOC3. And, and in short, what this company, what these companies will do is, is if, if, if something were to happen in a different state and someone serves you in a different state, uh, the BOC3 company will grab these legal documents and they'll actually get a hold of you and get it over to you. Uh, so that's the whole process. FMCSA is aware that you're going here, 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 and there. And at the end of the day, to get legal things properly to you, this is the right way to do it. So again, you need a BOC3 if you have an MC number. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's get started by typing in BOC3 in the search bar. You can go ahead and do BOC3 uh, agents as well. Uh, and right away, you're going to get a list of uh, all these um, uh, BOC3 companies. Let me get this out of the way. All of these BOC3 companies are going to be advertising to you. And really, all of them are just going to be just as simple as the other. They had different prices, 25 99 You'll see some 50s in here and so forth. Uh, the company that I like to use, um, and in no way do I make any commission or anything like that, I just like the response time uh, is actually, and, and again, any of these will work and the steps will be the same. I like to use uh, boc3online.com. Um, it's a very simple process. They do charge $35. I know you guys seen the $25 ones. Feel free to use those. Um, like I said, any one of these will work just uh, just the same to process it. I just like the response time here. You send it over in the weekend, you'll get it by Monday. You send it over over during uh, the weekday, you'll get it within a few hours. And real quick, let me see if I have it here. I'll show you guys at the end. I'll show you guys what the BOC3 looks like after it's filed, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and click here. In this section, BOC3 process agent, no annual fees, $35. BOC3, you only pay one time. You only have to repay, again, if you uh, change your address or your authority becomes inactive and you activate it again. This is after one year, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Company name, Oscars Trucking LLC, DOT number. You guys, these are dummy numbers, making it up. It's not that many. MC number, add to cart. Um, oh, I have two of them here, one second. Oh, 20, no, I just want one. There you go. Hit checkout. And um, it has myself remembered here, but basically all you're going to go ahead and on uh, this page, you're going to enter your, your email address, your billing uh, information. If you want to email with news and offer, I do not. Uh, your address, again, billing address, hit continue to payment. Uh, enter your payment information and hit pay now. And that's it. That's your BOC3. It's one of the easiest permits to process. I'm telling you, that's it. Um, so whether you selected any one of the other uh, companies, as I'll give you an example, I'll go in here and you can just go ahead and again, company info, contact info, payment info, submit. You'll get it within a few hours. So I like using this company because they're a little quicker. Uh, description, uh, excuse me, link in the description below. Um, nothing else to it, you guys. I'm gonna show you guys what the BOC3 looks like uh, and where you'll see it active um, on your actual MC authority. Okay, so let me show you that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys where you can see your BOC3 um, attached to your DOT, as well as what a BOC3 looks like. So I'm gonna use someone completely random. So I'm just gonna type in AAA to look up somebody by their name. Let's bring up a random DOT here. Uh, let's see here, they have an MC number. Okay, so once you're in here inside of your company snapshot, you're gonna head over to licensing and insurance on the top right over here, where I'm circling around. And then you can select, I'm not a robot. All right, nothing else to do here, hit search. In here, it'll provide your information to your MC or your docket number. And all the way to the right, just go all the way to the right here, HTML, this is where you wanna select. This is a backend of your MC, it'll show you if your insurance is on file and if you have an active authority or not, and if your BOC3 is on file. So we just wanna focus on the BOC3, so here it is right here, BOC3 is yes, and the blinking company, and so who the BOC3 company is. 
Uh, that's it. That's how you can find out if your BOC3 is on file. Just go over here and say yes or no, and, and it'll show you the, uh, who, the, who the company is that's doing the BOC3 for you. Lastly, just want to show you guys what the BOC3 looks like. It's a two-page form. It's going to have the name of your company. It's going to have the name of the company that's processing it for you. And it's going to show all of these different states with the process of service uh, agent located in those states in case anybody wants to send uh, any legal documents for you. They'll handle it on your behalf. All right. So this is your BOC3. Um, and that's it, you guys. Any questions, let us know.